Good morning, everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be using up some leftover paints from my uh, previous pour. I did a geode style pour in purples, and I have three shades of purple, pewter, beige, and white. And I'm going to do a um, nitrile glove balloon dip. So I just have a stack of my gloves here. Uh, you pretty much only need one glove. You can reuse it and then rinse it off when you're all done. Uh, and then I'm going to use my light purple for my background color. So I have just a really nice light purple mixed up. And then I'll show you the consistency here. It's a really nice smooth consistency. And then I'm going to use the other colors for my dip. So I'm just gonna put my purple down. I have everything mixed with Sargent Art Gloss Medium and water. And I keep my consistency a little bit thicker than I for this one than I do for other pores so that the shape of the flower holds up nicely. I wanted to do kind of a um, negative space dip for this one. Um, I like to do, most of the time I'll do the flowers down the middle or on a um, diagonal of the canvas. This time I think what I'm going to do is go from one end up to a corner and have the top be open and then the bottom be filled with my dipped flowers. So we'll try that out and see how that looks. But I really liked these colors for my previous pour. Um, so I just wanted to use them up and see how they would look for a dip. I think they're gonna look really pretty. So just gonna kind of make a mark on my canvas. And I'll kind of fill that in and not leave that open. Actually, I'm gonna put figure out where I want my flowers to go and then start dipping. So for the middle of my flowers, I like to do a lighter color first. So I like the white or the beige will be in the middle and then I'll do the darker shades of purple and then mix in a little bit of that pewter for a metallic uh, pop of color. And I'm just gonna start by putting puddles of my white down to create all my flowers. And then I'll start adding my beige. And what I like to do is kind of put a ring of my color around my puddle. And then I just ring each color around the previous color that I've poured. And once you do your dips, if you have areas that you want to fill in, you can always add uh, more paint and do more dips and just keep adding to your surface. Just move these out of the way a little bit. Okay. Now we'll go on to, I might, no, I'm not going to add any of that light purple. I'm just going to move on to the darker purple. Oops, way too much there, but that's okay. Okay, now we'll start adding this really dark purple.
And then I am going to add in a little bit of this pewter. Um, I think I'm going to add it just right in the middle a little bit so that when they dry, maybe there will be a little bit of that shimmery metallic look to them. Okay, so once you have all your colors down in your puddles, just take your glove and blow it right up. You can blow it, um, keep it as tight or as loose as you want. Uh, this is about the size that I like for mine. And then just start dipping. And then once I dip, I kind of wipe off the excess paint before dipping again. So I just kind of fill up my table with um, the leftover paint, just wiping it off. That looks really pretty. Okay, these three are quite close together, so I'm just going to be careful while I dip. Do this one first, and then do the one on the side there. There we go. And then wipe this off, and finish up this last one. There we go. So that looks really nice. I think I got them all close enough, but they didn't um, blend too much. So you still have some definition of the middle of the flower and then that darker color to get those nice petal shapes. And then in every once in a while, this pewter is showing up. And I think when that dries, it, like I said, it'll just be that little nice pop of um, something a little bit different in it. So I'm going to just touch up one or two areas here that had some drips. And then we'll let this dry and get some pictures of it.